As always in my YouTube career so far, these are items that I've purchased with my own money. I've got no connection to any uh, retailer. This is what I think. Good morning, Codge Biker here from a beautifully sunny Lincolnshire. Look at that. It's really hot today, which is uh, ironic really because the summer ended four days ago and it's been rubbish. Now it's lovely. So, as you could see, hopefully, here I am in my Knox Urbane Pro Mark III top. I want to tell you about it. So I bought this after the really hot summer we had last year and I just couldn't stay cool on a bike. Uh, I'm a leather jacket wearer first and foremost but I discovered that if you buy one of these or if you've got one of these with the armour in it, Knox armour, which is good armour, you can basically take all the armour out of your leather jackets and um, throw it away because this is called an armoured shirt I think and it does fit inside your leather jacket so on a cool day I wear it inside my leather jacket and on a warm day like today I can go sans jacket hopefully it's supposed to be rated um, I think it's double A in the case of an accident I don't want to uh, have an accident he says watching a FedEx van rush by to find out but um, it's quite heavy but it is mesh so the air is now flowing straight through it's quite a warm morning so after um, using it for a few trips um, most notably built to Scotland and back I have to say it's a bit of a game changer I like the fact I can still wear anything I like and the armour goes underneath it Costa stops the wind going through. Ditto in the rain. Don't forget your strap on. See and be seen. Too small for me. Damn. Wife's coat is too small. How about my wife's jacket? Nope. Ah, oh, what a shame. Even this at a push. I guess it would fit. I'm going to try, not on camera anyway. Or I can just wear the Knox jacket as is, or shirt, and um, be cool. And it would stand up. Oh, you get a lovely breeze through it. It's, it's beautiful, that. Most enjoyable. It has a few, a, a weird thing about it, and one of the pockets has a piece of uh, like cord attached to a piece of cloth which they say is for cleaning visors. Um, personally, you can't see the point, it's a bit of a waste of time. So I wouldn't bother with that. Maybe that's just me, I'm sure people will tell me that they use it all the time. If so, that's good for you. I find it annoying because every time I put my hand in the pocket, it falls out. Uh, it has only a small um, phone pocket inside here, on your left hand side. My phone just about fits in it, but I don't know how you'd fit a bigger phone in there. I also don't like the idea of having uh, microwave energy over my heart. <laughs> Again, that's probably just me. You might be alright with that, so I tend to put it in the side pocket. There are two zip pockets, they're not overly big. That's the one problem with it, is it's not got a lot of storage. But it has some, and if you're just um, trekking out with your phone, uh, a couple of other things, there's some interior pockets without zips, you'll be all right, but you couldn't take a picnic lunch with you. So, and the, uh, the other thing that's a drawback with it is it's beautifully cool, but it has absolutely no insulation ability whatsoever. So 
Right, today I'm setting out, it's uh, early morning, the mist just risen up, so it's nice and warm. But if I'd been out an hour earlier when it was cold, I'd have been freezing. So you always need another jacket with you. You can't just go out, not in England anyway, or the UK. When we were in Scotland, uh, and England was the same, one side of the country was about sort of 10 degrees, and the other side of the country was about 30 degrees. So in the 30 degrees it's perfect, but in the 10 degrees you need something to stop the wind from going through it, or you will freeze very quickly, wind chill. So I always carry my yellow raincoat, I carry that anyway, and that seems to work well with it. Its strength is it's part of a layering system where you use this as a shirt, I've got the Knox under layer underneath it as well, and then you can put anything over the top of it, I wear t-shirts over it, or leather jackets, or well, anything I feel like wearing, and it's brilliant from that point of view. As I say, on a hot day like today, it's an absolute game changer. I can perspire away without knowing it, a nice cool breeze through the arms and the chest. Wonderful. I also purchased the optional chest protector, uh, but I must admit, I've never used it. The Velcro's in. Probably better to take the label off. And then zips up. As I say, as I say, I've never actually used that, but and it, you buy it, you have to purchase that separately, but it's chest protector ready anyway. Okay, a few things that uh, might need to be considered if you do for this Nox Urban Pro Mark, whatever it is. First of all, it's a shirt, so you have to size it as a shirt. I bought the same size as my t-shirt, and that's just about right, but it is snug. And then again, it is de it's designed to be snug, which is good because it keeps all your armour in place. But I had no problems with it whatsoever, never gave it a second thought until I had a spine injury over the last five months. And um, not just that, I've had problems putting all my jackets on, but this in particular is the last jacket that I've been able to put back on. I can now wear it again, glad to say I'm improving, but um, if you've not got any flexibility you're not putting this on. That's the second thing. Another little niggle on it is the um, back protector is very good, full length of your back, but it does poke out um, a little bit under my jacket and I do find sometimes I catch it on my jacket if I've got a jacket over the top like I have today. Or sometimes it I sit on it. Um, if you go if you know if you get off the bike and you go in a cafe or whatever. Me in a cafe? So it's a bit long, but it, I suppose it's there for a reason, you get used to it. The third thing that I'm not so keen on um, is those loops that are on each sleeve. Now they're good for putting it on, they do, it pulls the sleeves down because as I say it's quite tight fitting, designed to be worn under things so it's good from that point of view. I do wonder if you ever had an accident whether that would snap or whether it could pull your thumbs off. Just a thought. So apart from that, it's one of the best jackets I've ever had, I love it. It uh, transforms a hot day. It means you can wear whatever you like, so um, I suppose the fifth thing is it's very expensive, but uh, I tend to think you get what you pay for, you, not always, but if you buy cheap, if you're sliding down the road, it's not the time to decide you wish you'd spent a bit more, is it? Um, I hope that it lives up to, uh, I hope I never find out first of all, but I hope it lives up to the uh, quality that it claims. So on that note, with my Knox Urban Pro 2 or 3, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. It'd be in the title. Kodja Biker is out and about in the sunshine, look. This is now another year. It's February. It's first day for ages, it stopped raining. 
So me and Nigella are off out. Show them your box, Nigella. Look, in Juristan. I keep a Bluetooth in there. More of that another day. Hodge Biker is out. Oh look, does my bum look big in this? Yeah, so, being me, I'm out in the mud. Uh, horrible top box on. It's got the punch kit in the stuff. And that's the bike. Africa Twin Supermoto with a bum bag. Right, Nige. Nigella? All right. Faster. Shut up. Oh, going as fast as I can. These posh women. Who's boshing you about? 